How you too? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you guys with morning chip chat. It is hump day, yes, and it's like it's gonna rain today, which is fine with me. All this hot weather is just oh, it's not being good. I am up early on my way to work. Gotta be there by eight because we got a stupid meeting. And they ain't gonna be talking about nothing. It could be something they could send out in a mass email to everybody. I'm telling y'all the honest to God truth. I know y'all, I know y'all say well, she complains every time she's got a meeting, but I, I just I need to videotape the meeting <laughs> so y'all will see what these staff meetings are about. And I, to me, it's a waste of my time. But thank God she has stopped having them every month. And she's only doing them on the month that we have holidays in so that or and she's going to do them on the weeks that there's a holiday so that they don't have to flex our time up like trying to get us off and time to, to get our time back because God forbid if we have any overtime, you know, they're calling us in for a meeting at eight o'clock and then they don't want to give us overtime, which I feel like. You're inconveniencing me by having me come in at 8 instead of doing the staff meeting during hours when everybody's scheduled to be there. You're making us come in. Some of us, like my 9.30 day, I have to be in an hour and a half early compared to um, someone who might have to be in an hour. You know, like do the staff meeting. Like take a time, shut the door, and do the staff meeting during the times that the doors are shut but I guess they don't want to do that because they feel like there's still some patients could be there but still I mean that's I don't know if you're gonna make me come in early give me my overtime for having to drag up out in the bed or out in the house early so yeah so anyway enough about that getting off my soapbox about that one because but you know what I'm stopping to get my coffee I tell you that oh let me tell y'all this because I haven't been talking about it in a while Oh my God, Fatty Patty is back, Fatty Patty again, okay? Got on the scales this morning. Not like I was ever not Fatty Patty, but I am a fattier Patty, okay? <laughs> I got back on the scales and I have climbed up. I am 220 pounds and I feel it. I feel like a bloated pig right about now. And I'm going to tell y'all one thing is... I have not been getting my water in. I've been drinking sweet ices because I don't know if y'all have head stations in your area, but they have those ices for 69 cents any size. And then, you know, I don't get just a small one. I get the great big 32 ounce one. And y'all know that stuff is full of sugar. And that's what I have been drinking seem like every day. Then I've been eating sweet stuff that I normally no, I should not be eating. I've been doing that. I have not been eating healthy. Um, like breakfast start out good. Egg whites, turkey bacon, maybe some fruit, maybe that. Lunch. Lunch I was doing pretty good too. But this week I've been doing like um, cottage cheese and fruit. And that's it. Cottage cheese and fruit for lunch. But... Afternoon, that's when it's on with the ices or a donut, or then come home and eat dinner and then snack all night until I go to bed. And you know, that's the worst time to be doing some snacking, but that is where I am at. I have just totally fell off, I have not worked out any, um, any, 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 any. I don't even remember when the last time I had, probably been over a month. Whenever we stop the Determined to satisfy challenge. I think I worked out maybe one to two times after that. Maybe I'm just kind of thinking off my mem remembrance. But it's been a long time since I worked out, and I'm like, this ain't gonna cut it. You know, 220 pounds. I am so tired of fluctuating, but I guess I gotta get tired. Of, I gotta get good, sick, and tired, I guess, to get myself motivated, you know, to. Oh my God, get this weight off. I'm like, I'm never going to get in Wonderland if I keep this up. I get so close and it's like I'm saying, no, I'm fearful of being Wonderland again. 
No, I'm not fearful of it. But I'm just saying, that's how my body seems. And then I will stop doing what I know I need to do to get there. And then I'll get right back up into that 220, 225 range. I even got up to 230 something at one point. And that was really not good. So I can't get back up to 230. So I got to get focused and, and get this thing going, okay? This morning, started out good this morning. Um, but no water. No water whatsoever. And I think that's my main problem. I think I need, well, you know, I know I need some water. But I got to find a way to get my water into my system. I I'm going to tell you guys the honest to God truth. I did not have water yesterday at all. No water. I drank a coffee that morning. Nothing all day long when I ate my lunch. I ate my lunch and then I was full on the way home. I drank like a half of a protein shake. I came in. I ate dinner and that's it. That's all the fluids I had. Coffee, which is this size. A half of a little protein. I don't I didn't bring one today. Half of a little protein shake. Like little pre-made protein shakes. That's what I had all day long as far as the fluids go. So how can anything flush out or move anywhere? So one I'm even urinating, but I am. But, I mean, I know if that's TMI, I'm sorry. But I, and I just had to stop and think about it. You didn't have any water or anything to drink yesterday. I didn't even have an icy yesterday. So I didn't even have that. That is all I had to drink yesterday was coffee and a half of a protein shake. That is terrible. That is terrible, terrible, terrible. So I have got to get something in today. I have got to get my water in today. And I think I'm going to have to start going back to cutting this coffee out. And then that way in the mornings I'll get my water in because I'll drink water instead of coffee. Uh, I'm sitting here like in awe because I cannot believe that. I actually did not drink anything yesterday. That's kind of, mm, that's not good. But anyway, um, yeah, so I got to get back on this weight loss thing. I got to get back. Determined until I'm satisfied. Determined to satisfy. That's what I got to get back at because, ugh, <laughs> I hate this. Look at my face. It even looks fatty patty. It looks that today. I did have a little cheekbone thing at one point. Now it's just a big puff. <laughs> oh God. And when I look at my pictures at the class reunion, oh, I was supposed to be putting the thing of the class reunion together. Okay. I need to do that. It is so funny at the class reunion. The women had not aged whatsoever. We all, yeah, I said we. <laughs> We all still look good. The men, on the other hand, was like, Ooh, y'all. <laughs> Some of them losing their hair. Oh, my goodness. It was like, what in the world? Oh, man, I need to get over. I got to get over. I got to get over. Cars is flying. Nobody wants to let me over. Okay, I'm going to take it. Don't you hate when you pull in front of somebody in the car that you are pulling behind, throw on brakes, and then that's garbage making that car behind you mad because you done pulled over in front of them? Yeah, okay. You with me on the way to work. Okay. Anyway, why are they doing all this brake throwing on? My goodness, the light is green. Anyway, you guys, um... Mm. Anyway, I'm trying to see what these cars are doing. Because they're pulling out a mile back to get in this turn lane, and it shouldn't be that way. Because they 
trying to turn. I'm sorry. Whoops, 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 whoops. Had to hurry up because I'm pulling out in front of folks. But anyway, um, oh yeah, the men just look old. I'm like, what in the God's name have y'all been doing? He's <laughs> 30 years. And this one guy it was so funny. The girl was looking through the yearbook. She said, where is such and such? I ain't going to say no names because I don't know who follows me on YouTube. And, well, if they were there, they know because everybody was laughing. Anyway, she was like, where is such and such? And he, he was like, I'm right here. He had been sitting to the table with her the whole while. It was so funny. Uh, she she just closed the book up. She said, I'm through for now. It was so funny <coughs> that she did not recognize them. Oh, God, it was funny. But most of the men had aged a little. But everybody still looked good. We still had a good time with fellowship and, and talking and everything like that with everybody. So, yeah. So, um, I have to get off from here so I can pump gas. I don't know why this car pulled behind me like they're going to rush me out of this space. They might as well have moved on back and moved on out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what's wrong with them. But anyway, I'm going to go on. So, anyway, don't forget... Mm, I hate when I wear this lip gloss. I always feel like I got strings on my lip. But as always, remember to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.